Hi everyone, it's Jen from Acclaim Fitness. Today we have our Saturday boot camp, and I'm just gonna call this pyramid reps because everything's kind of going up or down with reps and um, we're adding exercises. Um, but we're gonna start with a four minute um, just AMRAP to get us warmed up. So it's gonna be a little bit not a crazy, like it'll warm you up, but it involves weights. So I'm gonna use, I think I'm just gonna go light and use up 15. So we have four minutes. Basically we're gonna be doing um, two exercises. And we're gonna increase the reps as we do this, this um, set, these two exercises. So you're gonna be in plank, you're gonna pull the weight through to one side and do a row, pull the weight to the other side and do a row. Hopefully you have good weights for that next. So one on each side. Um, then you're gonna to go to an alternating side plank into a tricep extension for one and then go to the other side for one. Then we're gonna do two plank pull through so you'll actually do four total. Okay, and actually gonna to have to go by two. <laughs> and then the alternating side, side plank, we'll do, the, it's the tricep extension that you're gonna do twice, okay? So um, not the alternating plank part. So just follow my lead um, and you'll understand. And this is four minutes. I'm gonna have the timer beep every minute so you know um, when a minute's over. If I lose my jacket. Starting in five seconds with the plank pull through. So weight is under your hands, you're pulling it through and going into a row, one on each side. So we'll just count by twos because everything seems to be in the twos. So pull to the side, row, pull to the other side, and row. And then you're going to go to a side plank to a tricep extension to overhead. Get the triceps warmed up, bring it down. Go to the other side, tricep extension. Okay, so we're basically staying in plank for four minutes. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to a row. Four total, okay? To side to side, row, row, and row. Now two tricep extension. So arm overhead, and we're doing two on each side. Two, weight comes down. Other side. All right, now six, plank rows. So bring it to the side, row, bring it to the other side, row. We have four more. Three, four, five, and then six, and then three tricep extensions overhead on each side. One, two, try and get deep. Three, other arm. A lot of shoulders just in this plank, core, hip flexors, and three. All right, now I have one of the four rounds, so eight total on the rows. One, just a drag over the cross, two, three. So we're starting with the time, and then we're gonna end with the time. Everything else is reps. I got three more, six, Seven and eight. We have four tricep extensions, and we're happy with everything. One, two, three, and four. Other side. One, two, three. Total, you have about 
25 seconds. So if I finish with these, one, two, three, four, five, 10 seconds, six, seven, we're not gonna go all the way, that's okay. So my upper body's ready. <laughs> We're gonna move on to our first rep set. This is um, single arm kettlebell. So I'm gonna use a 40 for this entire set. You're gonna do one side and then you're gonna do the other side. You have four moves. So it's decreasing reps. So you're gonna do eight reps of these exercises on one side and then eight and then go into six, four, two. So four rounds. So we're gonna start with a swing catch. Swing, catch for eight. Then you're gonna hold it here in this offset and you're just gonna do a squat for eight. Then you're gonna do a single arm press for eight. And then you're gonna bring the weight down and you're gonna do hop, plank hops for eight. Then you're gonna do the other side. You can do plank hops with both hands on the kettlebell or if you want, you can do single arm, make it a little bit harder. Um, that's what we're doing. One side, then the other side. All right, I'm still not completely warm yet. <laughs> All right, swing, catch. So standing back from your weight, I'm gonna start with my right, hinging. You're gonna swing and then catch. One, so single arms, swing. Two, three, four, squeeze the glutes, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we have squats for eight, so with that offset. One, two, Three, deep squats. Four, five, six, seven. Now push press on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Swing and step down. Eight plank hops. I'm gonna do two arms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Step it back. Other arm. Swing and catch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. We have squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Push press. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Plank hops. So step down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up and back slightly. We have six reps. So we're gonna catch. One. Two, three, four, five, six squats. One, two, three, four, five. Push press. One, two, Three, four, five, six, so down, plank hops for six. One, two, three, four, nine. Other side, six, swing catch. One, two, three, four, 
six squats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Press it for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set it down. Six plank ups. We're getting there. Two, three, four, five, six. We have swing catch more. One, two, three. Squats for four. One, two, three. Push press. One, two, three, four. Sit down. Leg ups. One, two, three, four. Other arm. Up. Let's do my left. Two, three, four. Squats for four. One, two, three, presses, one, two, three, and four, line toss, one, two, three, right arm, two, reps, one, two, one, two, one, two, set it down, two plank ups, one, two, other side, one, two, squats, one, two push presses, one, two, two plank ups, one, and two. Whew, all right. We have something similar later with the dumbbell. All right. Reps one to five. And kettlebell increasing reps is kind of a complex, I guess you could say. Kind of like that. That was a complex. So you are going to need an elevation. So we're going to start with one rep on each side. I'm going to use my 40 because of the clean. So. Three moves, one rep on each side, then the two, three, four, five. The moves, two moves, or three moves, I'm sorry. So we, you're gonna do single arm deadlift. So it's a standard deadlift, but you're just gonna use one arm. Then we're gonna swing a uh, clean catch, and the hand that's holding the bell, that's the leg that's gonna come up, and you're gonna do a step up. All right, then we'll do one on the other side of each exercise. Then we're gonna do two, three, four, five. All right, this one's gonna take a while. Oh. Starting to get warm. <laughs> All right. So starting with that single arm deadlift. So straddling. You're gonna come up for a deadlift with one arm. Then you're gonna clean and catch, and then you're gonna step up. That's one. Other side. So right down. Switch. Deadlift. Clean. Left leg. Steps up. All right, two deadlifts, same arm, so you're up for one, two, clean it, one, two, two step ups, one, and two, other side, so bring it down, two deadlifts, one, two, clean, catch, Two seconds. You can use a dumbbell for this set. Right, one to three. Three single arm. So gently put that weight down. One, two, you're hinging. Three, one, two, three seconds. It's an offset, okay? 
So your core is being challenged. And three. Other side. One. Two. Three. Clean. One. Two. And three. Seven up. One. Two. And three. three. One to four. One. Two. Three. Four. Clean. One. Two. Three. And four. Up. One. Two. Three. And four. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Clean. Catch. One. Two. Three and four. One, two, three, and four. We're on our, our five rep and final round. Deadlifts for five. One, a little offset on this whole set. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and Other side to finish this up. Woo. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One. Power it up two. Use that core. Three, four, and five. This is it. One. Sometimes I lose my balance. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel good, my knee's coming up. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. All right, we're done with that. Whew, we have an add-on rep set. So, we have six moves. And each round, we're gonna add an exercise. So we're gonna start with one rep, Go into six reps. The first one, so we'll do the first exercise one rep, then the second exercise two reps, and back to the one rep one. Then three, two, one, four, three, two, one, five, and then six all the way through, okay? First one, step up reverse line into a single leg deadlift on both legs. I'm actually gonna use a 225s for this one. It's three and one equals one rep. So we'll start with our right leg, stepping up, going into that reverse lunge, and then coming up and doing a single leg. You'll get the single leg deadlift on the left leg. So right steps up. This is just one round, guys. Right steps back into that lunge. And then we're going to do a single leg deadlift. That's it. Switch legs. Step up. Reverse lunge. Hinging for that single leg deadlift. Next one is a figure eight catch, curtsy lunge. I'm gonna use my 30 kettlebell. So you're gonna do two of these on each side, so it'll be four total. All right, so I'm gonna use my kettlebell. You're gonna thread catch, so it's gonna swing around, and you're gonna catch it. You're gonna turn, you're gonna do your static. No, we're doing curtsies. I'm like, no static. You're just gonna go back into a curtsy, okay? So four total. Here we go, on a curtsy you start on. You're gonna come around, catch, curtsy lunge. That's one. Another side. Whoops. 
<laughs> big bell hit. <laughs> One leg, two, three, and four. Okay. Back to the step up. Reverse lunge, single leg down. Stepping up. Reverse lunge. Single leg down. Side, step up, reverse lunge, single leg deadlift. Right. One arm three reps out. I'm gonna use one kettlebell, or no, one dumbbell. We're gonna do a bear hold row, and then you're gonna pop it in, do a row, and then you're gonna do a snatch. That's one rep. We can either alternate, or st I'm gonna stick to the same side, you're doing three on each side. So I think I'm gonna, I'll do this round with 30, see how that feels. So three equals one on this one. So in my right, I'm going back into bear hold. Okay, you're gonna row. So over those knees. Then you're gonna pop it in. You're gonna row. And then you're gonna snatch. That's one rep. Same side for three. That's two. So three rows. We're doing variation back exercises. And then we're going to do the other side. One, three. So bear row, regular row, and then a snatch. That's one. Two. And then three. Figure eight, catch, curtsy lunge, four total. I need a wide stance for my big fat bell. Catch it, and curtsy. One, two, use that core, swing it around, three, and four. Step up. Reverse lunge, single leg. One. And two. All right, riding, four reps. We're doing a kettlebell push-up. I'm gonna use my 40 for this. So on your bell, you can do diamond. I'm actually gonna be on my bell like this and I'm gonna do a push-up. So you can either do the push-up along the side or you can do it on your bell, you're gonna pop it in and then you're gonna do a curl with the bell. So pick an appropriate weight. If you don't feel comfortable doing the push-up on the bell, find a modification. Whew, four reps. So I'm gonna pop back. I'm gonna do a close push-up. Popping it in and staying low and curling. That's one. Two. Three. One more. And four. Back to the rows, bear. Row, three on each side. All right, bear hold, right side. Row it, pop it in, row it, and then snatch it up, that's one. Core tight, guys, tuck that back. One, one, and that's two. Last one on this side. And then three, switching sides. One. Now I'm getting warm. Two. It's gonna be beautiful today. Yeah. It's like 70, yes. right? Yeah. And sunny. I Yesterday was super windy. Yeah. 
That was three. Figure eight catch for four total with a curtsy. One. Two. Three. And four. Step ups. Reverse lunge. Not a lot of reps, but we're moving. I'm going to do 25, I think. <laughs> so you're going to hold the weight. You're going to clean it, rack it for the whole time. You're going to come back, and you're going to press. You're coming all the way down, holding it, racking, and stepping up. Five on each leg. I hope I can do 25. Let's see. <sighs> Staying the same. We're not alternating. So we're going to clean it just so it's racked. You're going to come all the way down, and then you're going to press this one, and then to stand. Yep, we're doing more presses later. Just so you know, this one's not going away. Two, three, four. This forces you to get a deep lunge. Five, you're going to come up, clean switch. So all the way down, clean it. Another leg goes back, all the way. One, two, three, two more, four, you might notice one side is harder than the other. This is my weaker side, the left. All right, one to four reps. Push up, plank, hop, curl on your kettlebell. Four reps. We're changing that grip for the curl. One. Two. That shoulder blade. All right, we're on our figure eight. Curtsy, four total. Spread it through and catch. One. Two. Three. Last one. Step up. Alright, we are on to our last exercise on the step. It is 
kettlebell clean, pause, squat. So you're gonna, I'm gonna use my 50. You're gonna clean, you're gonna sit in that pause, squat. So you're gonna hold it for a little bit. Then you're gonna come up, you're gonna lower it, squat, jump, and then repeat the clean. Six reps total, this is one of them, so enjoy it. One more time through everything. All right, so come down, clean it, come down that squat, hold one, two, three, come on up, put it down, squat jump. Clean up for rep two, clean, sit in that squat, come on up, lower it, squat jump. Clean it, sit, pause, come on up, lower, squat jump, halfway there. Clean it, squat, pause, come on up, down, four, two more. Up, down, squat jump. One more. And up, down, squat jump. All right, our five rep round. Who's that? Kneeling, reverse lunge with the press. So clean that weight up. Do it my right. All the way down. And press it up. One. Two, three, four, yeah, you're done, okay. And five, you're gonna come on up, lower and switch. One, so the wet leg is, the weight that's holding, Hit that arm, that's the leg that goes back too. You can do the other side. <laughs> Three. Four. It's a little offset again, so get some sneaky core. Four. Now one more. And five. Plank hop. Push up with a curl for four. You can use dumbbells if you want. One, this is like a hammer curl. Two, three, squeeze it. And four. Rose, sing arm, bear hold, row, pop it in, row, one, two, And three, other side. Flat back. Is that one or two? This is one on this side. <laughs> this is one, that was one. Yeah. <laughs> and this is two. I know, it's like. Cause it's three reps and one, I got confused. I don't know why. It's like when you're Last one. Driving, it was like, is that a great light? I know, right? <laughs> so true. All right, be great. Whew. Here we go. Swing it around. Four total. Two. Three. And four. Step up. First lunge. First lunge. I like to finish this giant 
rep set. And another rep set. This one's a little five by five. <laughs> single weight, single dumbbell. I'm gonna use a 35, that is my goal. I have my 30 nearby just in case. And basically we're doing five reps of three exercises. So this is gonna take a while. We have five rollbacks. You're gonna get up with that weight and you're gonna five slams. Then you're gonna hold the weight and you're gonna do five squats. All right, so take your time with this. This one will take a while. Rollbacks, use that weight to help you get up from the rollback. Let me move this stuff out of the way just because my rollbacks. Take each round at a time. Don't get overwhelmed by the fact that it's five rounds. <laughs> Let's just do one round. Let's focus on one round. Going all the way back. And just come on up. One. So it's like a combination move. Two. We're going to get really good at these. Three. Four. Four on the way slams. And a five. So we go ahead. Slam up for five. One. Two. Three. Four, five, weight of the chest, five squats. One, if you want to hold it, goblet, go ahead. It's more comfortable for me. Three, four, and five. All right. Round two, we're not gonna think about that we have four. <laughs> but they take pretty fast. One, and always take rest as needed. Ooh, two. Three. Four. And five. Slam for five. One. Two. Three. What was that? Four. <laughs> The <laughs> noise is here, five. I have the same thing, too. <sighs> One. Oh, so my heart rate's coming up, too. Three. Four. And five. Oh, quick breather. Okay, let's get through this round, because I'll be more than halfway there. Wait the chest. Switching from a slam to a squat. Two, three, slap my eyes. Four, and five. I'm just gonna lower my towel. I'm off, it's okay to take rest between the rounds. <laughs> I'm not cheating. <laughs> All right, round four. We got this one. We did three, we can do two more. Weight in the heels. Three. Four, last one. And five. Slams. One. Two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Good to my grip. One lot of squats today. I hate squats. 
Like, they're not my preference, but you gotta do them. Last one, right? Yep. Five. Okay. Yep. All right, last round. And then oh, we have like, ooh, quick some presses coming up. All right, let's get it done. One. We're going down, two. Three. Four, last get up. Or, or uh, roll back, whatever you want to call it. And five. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Not sure if I tell, should tell you this, but I originally had this set as five to one, <laughs> and I changed it this morning to five. So, oh god, thank you. I know, sorry about that, but well, I can say that now that we're done. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay, All right. All right. Woo! we're on to another rest set, kind of like how we started. We're kind of finishing the last portion we have. Single arm chest press, you're gonna do five reps. I'm oh, sorry, eight. Everything's eight, there's four moves. It's sort of like, I wanna say Turkish get up. So pick a weight that's appropriate. Um, I might start with a 20 for the first round. So you're gonna be on your back. And you're gonna be in a position like you're doing a Turkish get up. And you're gonna do eight chest presses. Then you're gonna put your elbow down, your hand like you're going up into a Turkish get up. And you're basically just gonna, we're just gonna stay in this position. And we're gonna lift up for eight. Okay, then this foot goes back, and then we're in a kneeling shoulder press position for eight. Then you're gonna stand up, and then you're gonna do a snatch for eight. So 20 is not gonna be heavy for me for the snatch, but I'm gonna do the first round of 20 on both sides, and then see how that feels. I feel like I can do 25 a little bit. So eight reps, each side, you're on your back. Right leg is bent, right arm is holding the weight. You have eight chest presses. One, and even the chest presses. Three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna hold it up. You're gonna lean up and then going into the toe together, and then just lifting your hips up. One, so lowering it. Two, three, straight arm. Four, five, six, seven. Sitting up. Leg comes back. Coming up. Eight shoulder presses, however, this will feel good. <laughs> On the shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Stand, eight snatches. Woo, I'm gonna fly that weight up in the air, too. <laughs> but you know what? You can't really get super heavy on the east because of the no, shoulder presses. Five, six, Seven and eight. All right, we're lowering it. We're doing the left side. Left foot up. Weight in the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're gonna lean up, and you're just gonna hit. Raise one, two. Lock and load at that arm. Four, five, squeeze the glutes, six, seven, and eight. This foot that's in the forward, you're gonna come back into kneeling, press for eight. One, this is the hardest part, I think, as far as feeling the weight. Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna keep it up and stand. And eight snatches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so I'm gonna stick to the 20 for my six. Wrap around, and you go to the 20 bars. All right, right side, right leg bent. Pressing up for six. One, two, three, four, five, Six, hold it up, lean, get a little bit of abs there, 
and more core two three squeeze it four five six left back revealing one two three four five hold it up to stand and then six one two three four if it's light go fast five six all the way down other side we know the moves left knee up left arm hold that weight one two three four five six start that turkish one two three four five six leg goes back You're coming up for six one i'm like can i do 25 next round i don't know <laughs> three four i'd have to go really slow five left kills me and six standing in six snatches one two three four i'm gonna try though so if i look ugly on camera <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. I really just didn't hurt myself. Alright. I have a 20 nearby for those presses just in case. Right on, four reps. One, two, three, four. Leaning. Four hip raises. One, two, three. Try not to straight down. Four. One, two. Three, four, to stand. One, two, three, and four, switching sides. Close to the end of this one. See, all these sets are just going super fast. So really get your mind off them. <laughs> you can't even think about it. It just goes so fast. Right, straight on. That's the point one. Two, three, four. All right, left arm. Let's see what you can do. One, two. Struggling. Three, and four. Stand. We're almost done. We have one more round. Two. One, two, three. Go for it, Wendy. Woohoo! Two reps, we can do it. It's just getting up with the shoulder. It's the shoulder part's the hardest. One, two, lean. Press up for two. One, two. Come back. One, two. The sand. One, and two. Other side. One, two, you're using your hand, your elbow. Come on up. One, two, bring that leg back. Two, shoulder presses. One, two, barely got it up. And up, two snatches. One, and two. All right, we're done that. We have two things left. Two, look at that. We're doing good with time, too. Yeah. All right. Another dumbbell set. Oh god, more core. Okay. So this is something I did last week. Well, this is broken up, I think. Okay. So we're gonna do five to one on this one. So going down. So we'll start on our right. We're gonna do dumbbell, or you can use a kettlebell, but we're gonna swing for five. Alright, then I'm gonna Oh, all right, so then we're gonna do windmills. I'm sorry to think I was gonna add something, but all right, swings for five. Then you're gonna clean press, so just one clean and press, and we're gonna come down to that elbow windmill, okay? If you can't go all the way down, just do this. Actually, do the hand. You know why? Because the third exercise is a kick through. So you weren't here when he wasn't here. Arms straight, you're coming down, and that back leg is gonna kick through. So you're going back, and we're gonna do five, okay? So pick a weight that's appropriate. I'm gonna do this round with the dumbbell. Um, and I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start with 25s. All right, just because of the windmill portion. I think I did 30, I can't remember what I did last week. 
I have a 30 nearby. Um, in case I feel like, oh, that I can do it. So, but you know, kind of build that muscle memory by going late the first round. So kneeling, swing on the right side. So arms like that, same side. So thrusting forward one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna clean, you're gonna press, and you're gonna come down for five. So look it up. One, I like to do a little rotation on my hip. Two, three, the kick throughs are gonna be the hardest, okay? Four, and five. Now you're gonna come down, all right, and you're gonna kick through. One, knee goes back. Two, three, four, and five. Coming all the way up, we're gonna switch sides and do five on the other side. So, same side left, thrusting with the swing. One, two, three, four, five, clean, and press. We got that half kneeling like windmill. One, two, if you wanna do elbow, that's fine. Three, this is my weaker side, so hopefully those kick throughs look normal. <laughs> Coming down. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, come on up. Four reps, other side. This is perfect to do before our last set because it's a challenge arm rep. <laughs> three and four, clean and press. So let our heart rate come down just a little bit, but working a lot of core. One, two, three, and four. Coming down, kicking through for four. One, make sure that shoulder is like loaded. Okay, so straight arm. Three, and four. Coming one up. So focus on each move separately. Woo. Other side left for four. And it's a hinging swing. One, two, three, four. Clean and press four windmills. One. I feel a lot of muscles working now on this one. Two. Three. And four. Keep the arm up. Kick through for four. Keep that core tight. You can do the movement slow. Two, three, and four. All right, we're on to our three rep round. Here we go. One, two, three, clean, and press. I'm gonna try and do a little elbow action. One, two, and three. Come all the way down. The hand, kick through. One, two, and three. Pulling all the way up, switch sides. One, press it forward with your glutes. Three, clean and press. One, feel a nice inner thigh stretch when I do this. Two, and three, hand comes down. One, two, and three. Come on all the way up. Two more rounds. And then we have a five minute finisher and then you are done. Good. Well, this is a good time. Yeah. One, two, we did a lot. One, and two, down, two reps, one, whew, and two. Other side, one, two, clean, and press. Oh, I forgot the windmills. I'm just cheating, one, and two, and then the kick. 
Come on. Keep going. Don't wait for me. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> One rep. So you're going to swing. Then you're going to clean. Then press. Then you're going to come down on your windmill. And kick through. For one rep. So not all the way up. So using that core. Last one. Swing. Clean. And press. Woo. Windmill. Kick through for one. And then down. All right. Get ready for your five minute arm rep. All right, so I'm going to use two dumbbells. Every minute five deadlifts. I'm going to use dumbbells for this entire set. So I'm going to try for the second exercise. So every minute we're doing five deadlifts. So I have my 30s because that's my heaviest that I have out here, which is fine. Um, and then remaining time. Okay. You're going to do, you're going to hop into a plank, row, row, hop it in, power clean. Okay. So with dumbbells. I usually do 25, it depends, like 30s I can do. So I have my 25s nearby just in case I need to drop. So the last five minutes I figure why not challenge myself. This is going to, um, is this an e -mom? Yeah, so we'll start in 10 seconds and every minute you'll hear a beep and that's when you do your five deadlifts. Okay, this is just to finish guys. Go strong, okay. Starting in 10 seconds, we're gonna start with our five deadlifts. This is it, five minutes. And we're a little over an hour, this is perfect. Grab your weights, three seconds. Five that. One, two, three, four, five. So hopefully your grip's fine because you get a little bit of a break when you're in plank. So row, row, pop it in, power clean. And repeat. Row. Halfway there, guys, with this five minutes. Okay. I have a wide stance for balance. Twenty seconds, then we do five more deadlifts. Plank up. Woo! You're so close to 
the end of this workout, guys. We said an out of push up, right? Yes. <laughs> Minute 30 left. My shoulders on fire. Twelve seconds. We do our last five deadlifts. Five. All right, one minute left. Oh, my shoulders and my grip. I am starting to feel my grip. strong guys good job oh, my shoulders all right so a little over an hour this is perfect we moved so don't forget don't forget first if you haven't subscribe to my channel <laughs> hit that like too if you like this workout let me know what you think drink lots of water for the rest of the day stretch go outside get some vitamin d and i will see you next time bye